It's supposed to snow today, so I'm taking the Jeep. So it's probably going to be a little louder than normal. I hate snow, hate having to drive in the snow, so I'm not looking forward to it. I know I live in the wrong state in Pennsylvania for someone who hates snow. Um, I live on top of a mountain and have switchbacks up to my house. It's a dirt driveway and which gets wrecked every year with rain anyway, so I end up having to rent a skid loader and stuff in order to fix it. But it's very steep and very a lot of terrain, so you need a four-wheel drive in order to get up to the house in general. Like you can't just drive a Toyota Corolla up. Um yeah, so I hate snow because it usually means I get snowed in. Um, bought a pickup truck a few years ago used with a plow on it with the intent of being able to plow myself out. But uh, when it snows, the plow doesn't really, the truck doesn't go anywhere anyway. It's so underpowered and old that, uh, you know, it really can't push the plow. So... It's basically turned into a planter in my front yard, the truck. So, yeah, when it snows, I mean, I've been snowed in as many as five weeks before because it snowed like eight inches one day, and then a couple of days later it snowed two feet, and then a couple of days later it snowed a foot. And when you're when you're not plowing, when you have a three quarter mile driveway up a mountain, that just stacks up. And then you end up with three feet of snow outside your door. That means you can't go anywhere. Um, I've had to hike down the mountain, get supplies, and backpack them up. Um, basically snowshoeing my up my driveway. You know the, the the main streets will be all plowed out down uh, down the mountain, but uh. You know, my driveway <laughs> up to the top is is a pretty steep and, you know, three-quarter mile doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're carrying 70 pounds of groceries on your back, um, not good. So now I try to prep for that. Um, it's kind of turned me into a little bit of a prepper. I never was before, but now I'm like, must stock up to be able to be snowed in for five weeks. Um, you know, so... Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, not looking forward to snow today if it happens. Um, I have three VCISO meetings with clients today. So, what that means is I'm driving, and they're all local, luckily. Um, you know, later in the week are ones that I have to drive to other states for, but, um, ones today, I am, you know, they're, they're about an hour apart, but I mean, they're close, but you know, with the snow, that's never fun. Um, problem with having so many VCIO meetings and VCISO meetings back to back this week is in addition to handling CISO stuff for my company, I'm having to handle them for these clients, which are great clients, but uh, I, my, I'm, I'm full. My, I still haven't dug out from my last visit with some of these clients, and now I'm going to go visit them again. So, um, you know, where you end up with a huge backlog because you're the only one doing all of this at the company, um, you know, yeah, yeah, there was so much I wanted to do, I have so many, you know, incident response plans and disaster recovery plans and, you know, data, um, life cycle plans and, um, yeah, acceptable use policies and stuff for different companies. I wanted to tune hours at our company um, a bunch, and I am so busy that it seems like I'm always in meetings and never having a chance to do the work. 
And when I do book myself, people are like, well, put it in your calendar. Okay, I, I do it constantly. I put days in my calendar saying, you know, catching up on, on you know, this or doing VCIO catch up or doing VCSO catch up or I'm working on our own company's um, policies and, and procedures and because I'm doing it not only for us, but for our key clients. So, um, I'll put it in my calendar and then it'll be, okay, we need to have an executive call at 1 p.m. and we have it and need to have this other strategy meeting and a prep meeting at 9. And, and suddenly just like my calendar gets owned by other people. And they ignore that I had stuff in my calendar because what they have thrown in there is legitimately an emergency or or important and then I get to nothing. Yep. That's uh that's my life lately.